Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brett Hurt. What I'm going to talk about is the on-off switch for an Edison Triumph and the speed controller, two different pieces. And on, your, on a Triumph, this is your on-off switch. Click, click, and this adjusts the speed. So to put in the on-off switch bracket piece, which is this little thing right here, which gets a little tricky getting them in place, you're going to need to undo the two screws on the pointer of the speed control right here because we're going to play with this like that a little. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a very thin one, tip to get those screws out, and a regular one. I thought you were installing the speed control. Well, I am. And this cool little screwdriver that holds the screw in place like that. Now you can just screw it in and it pops out. So these are really a lifesaver. So if you're going to undo the belt, let the motor run down. The speed control fits in this way like an upside down L. And it pivots on this part right here and this part right here. And the top piece pivots here, and then the other piece pivots here. So what you have to do is you have to hit both those pivots, but, and I jack the speed control down so that the speed control isn't flipping down like this. It's leveled out. Because if you don't bring the speed control up, this piece here, when you start to do things, it's going to go like that. It's going to fall down there. Then you're going to have to get your little extender magnet thing automotive to get it out of in there. In the last video, I said I grease the two, these two pieces. Well, the reason I grease those two pieces is that it helps keep it in place. So first we're going to Put a little there. You can use any grease you want. I just use the old lustrous green grease. Now you're going to take the speed control upside down L. The felts have to be pointing this way. So you're going to come around. Toward the belt then. Toward, yep. And you're going to look down there where that one is. And You heard that click? Mm -hmm. Now, you see how this is the top of the L is moving? Watch my finger. You see this? Now it's in place. The, the on off switch here, this is on off. This piece has a slot in it, this end piece. And the spring fits in the middle of the, of the on-off switch. It'll fit right in here like that. Now you're going to gently put the spring in. I'll line that up. And then you're going to use the cool little screwdriver. And that screwdriver with the um, that holds the screw is an absolute lifesaver. Where did you get it? I bought that at Sears when Sears was in business a hundred years ago. I went down there and said, "You have a, something to hold this?" And the guy goes, "Yeah, I have this screwdriver." And I went, "Man, those are cool. I have two of them. One a thin one, and then that one with a spring. You tighten that up, and you go here, here. Now you back the speed control out." Everything's in place, and then you watch the little L thing here. Ooh, that's stop. You see how the felts hit right here? Now watch, that's on. That's off, that's on. 
and it's in place and it won't go anywhere. Now what you're going to have to do is put the belt back on the machine. You're going to have to crank it all the way up and now you're going to have to reset the RPM or the timing of the phonograph. And I use a digital tachometer, which is an absolute lifesaver. They're like $20 off Amazon. I'd buy one. And you're good to go and you go play music. You know, I love this hobby, and that's my tip for the day.